So let's talk about sketching and free body diagram. So in this case, this FBD is just basically free body diagram. Okay, so what's the difference between sketching and free body diagram? So we are going to talk about this in reference to vectors. Okay, so let's have three vectors. Let's have vector A. We say that vector A is um, 20 meters at an angle of 30 degrees. Let's say we have vector B, which is uh, 35 meters at an angle of um, 155 degrees. Let's say we have vector C, which is um, 10 meters at an angle of um, 320 degrees. Now, when you have been asked to say, sketch the vector, or like the free body diagram, those are two different things. So let's talk about free body diagram first. Now, when it comes for free body diagram, a free body diagram is something that you yourself, who is representing that work, can understand. But sketching is giving the information exactly the way they are. Okay, so now, when it comes to free body diagram, for example, here we have three vectors. How can we come up with a free body diagram? Now, when it comes for vectors, a free body diagram can be represented by x, y plane. Okay, so we have, let's say we have an x, y plane. Here is the x, y plane. Okay, so I'll put it here. Here is my x, y plane. So we do know that we have, we are going to have the north the south, the east, and the west. The first vector is saying, which is vector A, is saying 30 degrees. So we know that vectors, they are measured from positive x-axis, meaning that this first vector which we have here is supposed to start from here all the way to there. So we have 30 degrees. So here is going to be my 30 degrees. Then I'm going to say this is my vector A. So I'm going to say this is my vector A, which is 20 meters. So I'm going to put even the angle there to say my angle is uh, 30 degrees. Now vector B is 155. Where can we find 155? 155 is found in the second quadrant. So I'm going to get my, I'll go to my second quadrant and I'll say that this is going to be my 155. Okay, and I'll say that is my vector what? That is my vector B, which is um, 35 meters. Now, we know that we are measuring the angles from positive x-axis until it touches the vector. So it's going to start from here all the way until it touches there. So that will be the angle which we are talking about, which is 155 degrees. Vector C is 3, 320 degrees. So 320 is found in the fourth quadrant. So I'm going to go there in the fourth, in the fourth quadrant and say this is going to be my vector what? My vector C. Okay. So that is going to be my vector C, which is uh, 10 meters. So we know that the angle is supposed to come from the first quadrant, from the first quadrant, which is the positive x-axis, and all the way until it touches the vector. So that is going to be our angle, which is going to be 320 degrees. So the diagram which I've given you here, this is a free body diagram. Okay, now when it comes for sketching, sketching is a bit different. So here's a, uh, here's going to be the sketching. So we're going to have you first need to have an x y plane as well. That will be, that that is going to be our starting point. So I'm going to have my x y plane here. Okay, and I'm going to say that this is going to be my first point. Okay. So that is going to be my first point. So that first point there, we have we have uh, the vector, which is vector A, which is 20 meters. So even when it comes for sketching, this is 20 meters, this is 35 meters, this is 10 meters. Even the, the vectors themselves, they are going to differ in terms of the length. Okay. So 20 is going to be a bit longer. It's going to be a bit longer than C which is a uh, vector a is going to be a bit longer than vector c and vector b is going to be a bit longer than a and c so we're going to start here to say this is going to be vector 
A. So vector A starts from there. So it's 30, it's 20 meters. So I'm going to put there to say that would be now my destination. I'm going to say this is my vector, my vector A, which is uh, 20 meters. I can even put the angles to say from this line here all the way to that li line is see, uh, 30 degrees. Okay, so I'm going to put that, that is 30 degrees. That is my destination. So from there now I'm going to put another dotted line. That dotted line is going to help me to, to know where am I supposed to go. So I'm going to put just a dotted line to put an x, y prime. And then I'm going to come there and say I'm going to vector b. Vector b is 155. So the, here we have the x, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So here is the second quadrant. We know that this vector is found in the second quadrant. Okay. So we're going to go there and say, this is going to be our vector. But it's 35. It's supposed to be a bit longer than vector A. So as you can see, it's a bit longer. So that is my 35 there. Which is going to be, I'm going to say that that is my vector. That is my vector B, which is 35 meters. So again, that is my destination. I've reached. Now I'm going to make another XY prime. Just a small one. Okay, I know that this is 1, 2, 3, 4. This is my fourth quadrant. And I know that vector C is found in the fourth quadrant. So I'm going to go in the fourth quadrant and say this vector. But it's 10 meters. It's supposed to be a bit shorter than uh, vector A. So it's going to be shorter than vector A. So it's going to be there. Then I'm going to put it there to say that is my vector what? That is my vector C, which is 10 meters. So if I want, I can say... This vector here, from this line here all the way to this line, that is 155 degrees. Then here I'm going to say from this line all the way to this line, that is going to be my 320 degrees. Simple, right? Then we need now to find the resultant. The resultant is the connection from the first point, from the origin all the way to the last vector. So the, here was our origin, and then the last vector is this one. So that connection there. That is the resultant vector. So that is going to be my resultant vector. R. Now resultant vector is the addition of vector A plus vector B plus vector C. Okay. Now, when the question is asking you to come up with a free body diagram, you need to come up with this. So this is a free body diagram. And then if they ask you to sketch, this is what you are supposed to do. That is sketching. So that is the difference between sketching and free body diagram. Okay.